Hey guys, welcome back to the business of art. In the last video, we went over starting to think of yourself as a business owner and starting to think of your art as a business. So as part of that, I wanted to just cover two really quick points. One is an artist bio, which is something that you'll need for your social media. It's something you'll want to print out for you know any art shows that you do or if you're approaching galleries, it's very important. So what would go into your artist bio? Well, keep it simple and you can create it and always change it or expand on it later. So start with, of course, um, like, you know, just a little bit about yourself, how you got into art, what inspires you to create, as well as uh, important things like where you studied art, if anywhere, uh, your art medium of choice or any other mediums that you use, any gallery showings that you've had um, or art shows that you've presented in, any awards that you've won as an artist, if you have, those are important. And then any other similar details that you deem pertinent. It's almost like a resume for yourself as an artist. Just make it a little more creative and less boring, of course, you know, like not you're not applying for a job but it's similar you want to give kind of your your background and your strengths and your inspiration as an artist the second thing is business cards I have seen so many artists that don't have business cards and it drives me crazy because what if you're doing a show or a fair and maybe someone didn't bring enough cash with them or whatnot but they want to buy a painting you don't have something to readily give them to contact you later it's kind of silly. You end up writing your name down on maybe a piece of paper that maybe they're going to lose later or whatever. It's, it's a point of professionalism to have business cards. So nowadays there are so many sites that you can easily create business cards on. You don't have to be a graphic design artist or anything like that. And they're really inexpensive. Two in the United States, I don't know if they're global or whatnot, but two in the United States that I've used before, Vistaprint and Gotprint got to print. Uh, those are both excellent. There's also, of course, always local printers. You know, generally you can get about 500 business cards for $10 in the U.S. So you can put your social media on there. You can put your phone number if you want, or at least an email to contact you, and maybe a sample of your work on the back. Or, you know, if you're a musician or whatnot, you could put a picture of yourself, um, etc. So those are two key things that you guys should work on get those in your artist bio can go up on your social media and like I said you can update it as you go along you can update it at any time and then get those business cards made you should have something at any point to hand out to someone so that they could contact you later and buy something from you or see more of your work anything like that you want to keep the door as wide open as possible for people to contact you and to purchase your work Hopefully these are helpful tips for you. Um, do subscribe. We're going to be posting new videos every Friday. And we have a lot of awesome videos coming up, including how to photograph your artwork, how to put on your own art show, definitely more on how to sell art, etc. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. And we'll see you next time.